Hamilton's first skyscraper. This is the Pigott Building, 20 stories high. Uh, and it built in 1929. Now, we weren't the first to build this technology as all the cities in Canada got it at the same time, but we were one of the first. And Hamilton being the ambitious city, we had to do it different. Gothic style architecture. The Pigott Construction Company, this was their head office. So it had to be impressive. Now they would remain here for many years, eventually going bankrupt as some businesses tend to do. They would move out about 10 years later and condo company moved in, and it's been condos ever since. Now, right from towards the end of the Pigott Construction Company to the time that the building was abandoned, there was a man living in the basement by himself. His name? Superintendent Willie. I know, it's always in the Simpsons. Simpsons <laughs> by the way, it blew my mind. This Willie also had a deep Scottish accent. Twice, <laughs> but to stay in the building by himself. Now, the Hamilton Spectator, they found out about this. They sent a reporter over to interview Willie, and they asked him one question. Why do you remain? And he said, I quote, I love this building. I love this building so much, I plan to remain here even after I am dead. And they say he made true on the promise. He is now the resident ghost of the Pigot building. Another young lady sleeping alone in her bedroom, very dark bedroom, by herself, and she wakes up and it feels like somebody sat down on the end of her bed. Now, she doesn't think it's paranormal at all. She's freaked out. She thinks there's an intruder in there. She turns the light, which floods the room, and there's no one there. She runs around the apartment, checking the closets, the bathroom, the front door. Everything's empty, locked, and secure. So as she's walking back to the bedroom, now thinking the whole thing was just a dream, until she looks to the end of the bed, and evidence that it was very real, an impression in the quilt that somebody had just been sitting there. 